Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I'm doing a hairdryer acrylic pour with Mixed Media Girl pouring paints on an 18 by 24 inch canvas. So I'm starting off by covering most of it with white. And this is just Mixed Media Girl white pouring paint. Nothing different than I'm using for the rest of the project. I did leave a little line in the middle. You can absolutely fully cover it, but I'm going to be putting my colors in the middle so I wasn't too worried about putting the white on those spots. And for this, I use a Remington hairdryer, just a normal hairdryer, and I use it on high air and on zero heat, so it's on cool. So I'm using um, some very light, kind of delicate colors. I've got pearl white, lilac, some um, metallic mixed berry, some powder blue, and a little bit of cosmic teal there. I'm going for something definitely pretty light. I'm, I don't want a lot of color. I want actually a lot of negative space on this. And before I went in there with my hairdryer, I torched it to just get rid of all those air bubbles that were in there because those will affect your design. Now, how you blow this out, it's totally up to you, but I usually like going kind of back and forth with my design and making this sort of floral. One thing I've learned is to try to kind of follow through with your hair dryer and not really just stop in the middle unless that's what you're going for in your design. There are no rules, you can do whatever you'd like, but I find that following through really helps. And if you were unhappy with any particular part of your design, you can blow that out a little bit more. You could also go back in there and add some more paint and blow that out more, it's totally up to you. So there was a couple spots that I wanted to just adjust slightly with my hair dryer here and blow out a little more. And that's just a personal preference. And sometimes I, sometimes I do that and then I kind of regret it and wish I'd left it alone. But in this case, luckily I really, really liked it and got um, some more delicate spots. I, I do have to try really hard not to get rid of all the negative space. <laughs> Um, cause I'm not a huge fan of it. Now, one thing you can do is if there are spots that you want to do just a little bit of work on, obviously the hair dryer is kind of heavy duty and it goes over a large space, but you can take a straw or something similar. You can use like a world's smallest leaf blower, etc., and you can just blow out specific parts. And then you can also take a stick and modify your design a little bit by pulling either some of that negative space in or some of the color out. I generally like pulling the color out, but sometimes people pull that negative space in and I think that looks gorgeous as well. So it all is just a matter of personal preference. And here's how the piece looks dry. I think it's just gorgeous, really light, some good contrast with that cosmic teal and the metallic mixed berry and uh, just very pretty easy technique. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you all next time.